I've seen some posts in a few of the carnival groups that I'm in that people are wondering how to use the app. So I'm going to walk through it a little bit with you. Here's our main page, and this is going to show you everything that's happening for the day. You can also find the ship map, shore excursions if you want to book them, order your food, Wi-Fi packages. There we go. So here would be a food order. There was our stateroom. We loved it. So you can pick and choose what you want from the specific uh, items that they have available. Depending on the time of day, stuff may change. Uh, late night tends to have some more of your finger foods. And then you've got your breakfast options as well. What do we got coming up here? All right, we are back to our main page. And the chat, I absolutely want to stress that if you are going on this with your family, pay the five bucks a person and get the chat. Your texting will not work. So here's everything that's happening during the day. You can check this for every single day and you can check it ahead of time. You can easily mark off what you wanna do as you go through and it will set reminders or notifications to go off on your phone so that you don't miss a comedy show or a cooking class or trivia. We definitely enjoyed a lot of the trivia, um, but you can go through and simply hit the heart of stuff that you wanna do. You will get a notification. Don't worry. If you happen to be in the pool or in a buffet, you can skip it if you want, but it'll notify you just to make sure uh, that you've got a chance to get there. It also shows you where to find it. So if you've never been on the ship before, especially if it's the first couple of days, you can easily click on it and it will show you exactly where to find it. This is our list view of the ship maps in case there's something specific that you're looking for. In my case, it tends to be the library, but that's just me. This for your information section comes in really handy if in fact you need smoking areas, medical center, or anything else that's very specific. So you can see those hearts there. That is specifically set for my planner on the bottom. So instead of what's happening for the entire day, it's just stuff that we have marked off. These are all the age groups for the miscellaneous kids clubs that they have so that you can go in and also see what's happening for them and mark off any notifications that you want um, to make sure that you get your kiddos to. I do highly recommend the green eggs and ham breakfast. Usually only run once or twice on the cruises check the website you may be able to enroll online now they have started that it used to be you had to do it in person uh, but I do have a video on here as well from the green eggs and breakfast the green eggs and ham breakfast um, and it's phenomenal this is setting your um, food options for the day so you can reserve to go to the sea day brunch or check out all of your other options available to you and it shows you where to find them Most of the items at the Sea Day Brunch are completely covered. Uh, just if you happen to notice at the top, they've got some fresh pressed juice. I believe those are $5 a piece, but all of the food items are covered. Here's a normal day's breakfast. And again, you can also go to Lido and uh, help yourself to the buffet. This is if you wanted to have a server um, served breakfast to your table. And like I said, it is included. Oh, we're taking a bit to load. Sorry, there we go. So when they come around and take photos of you at various times, make sure you stop and get the photos done. Um, they are going to be, this is my favorite one, they're gonna be super cute memories to keep. You can purchase them a variety of different ways. They've got download options as well as actual prints. There we go. 
Um, so if you do fall in love with a couple of photos, definitely make sure that you get them while you're on the boat. Once you leave that ship, you cannot purchase your photos. So make sure to choose your top few, see what's in your budget, and definitely grab what you want. We tell the kids when we go that they have to get at least two shots done that we don't know about. That will be surprises when we look. So that was one that my daughter did all on her own um, after we were done dinner one night. So you've got spa and salon treatments that you can book right on the app. Makes it very simple. I was able to book a spa appointment for our last full sea day, um, which is what I wanted because I didn't want to be mucking up my nails at all the beaches that we were going to. This way I was actually coming home with beautiful nails on my suntanned hands uh, so that it kind of made the color pop a little bit more than my nice pale white skin. So Bolt is only available, I believe, on two coasters, but this specific is from the Mardi Gras. Um, Bolt is the roller coaster that is on the ship. You can book right on the app. It's going to pull up at some point. It will pull up the times that you can choose um, and the dates as well. Make sure that you book early for Bolt. It does sell out. It's $15 a rider, so keep that in mind as well. So these are all of your options. Make sure to check everything out. Do the deck search and see what's around. Do the list search or the list view. Uh, there might be a restaurant that you're not aware of. There might be a bar you wanna check out. Uh, if you do the uh, map view like we have here, um, you might even be able to find a pool on a deck you didn't know what, that was there. Um, there's one just outside behind one of the restaurants that we definitely enjoyed. But if you don't know it's there, you don't know it's there. So it was actually nice and private. So you can definitely uh, download the hub while you're on. There are a couple of internet packages should you choose to do that. None of this was done with actual internet. As you can see, no internet connection. Um, this was done with being in airplane mode and then the Wi-Fi turned on as per their directions. And on the ship, we only used the app itself and the chat feature. So I cannot personally speak to how the Wi-Fi is, we didn't use it. We would um, connect when we got to port, but other than being present on the ship with what was happening and connecting with our family, we weren't on our phones. We checked in with everybody once we got off. All right, hope that helped. Enjoy your next cruise. Bye for now.